Hey, my YouTubers, this is your girl, Winfire69, coming to you with another video. I hope everyone is having a fabulous, fabulous Sunday. I'm here today with a little, we'll say reveal, little, 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 um, and my winter hat collection. Now, I have a lot of hats, but I pick and choose the ones that I will be wearing hopefully this winter last winter we didn't really have cold weather like that and you know what that is caused by global warming yes global warming makes the weather kind of weird and wacky you know look at the fires in um california in seattle you know washington and those places like that so you know global warming plays a big part in our winters and our summers you know, so I have an extensive hat collection, summer hats, winter hats, and in between. But first, I want to thank all my subscribers, new and old, for subscribing to my channel. Please leave your comments at the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. Click the notification bell, which will give you notification every time I come out with a video. Follow me on Instagram at winfire69k. Follow my two amazing client advisors, Tiffany at LV underscore Tiffany underscore SF. She's an amazing client advisor at the Louis Vuitton store, Bloomingdale's and San Francisco. Also, my girl Sunny at Vittenize underscore Me81. I will leave all that information right here. She also works at um, Louis Vuitton, but at the Maison store, Fifth Avenue in New York City. Also, I want you guys to follow my amazing friend, Lisa. She has an amazing collection of luxury items, and her YouTube name is uh, Lisa Loves Bags. Also, that is her uh, Instagram account as well. I want you guys to follow her as well. Also, my amazing, beautiful niece. Her name is Logan. Her YouTube channel is Logan Michaela. She does uh, natural hair uh, review products, also lifestyles. She just do reviews on a few things. She just started her channel. So I want you guys to also follow her. She also has a Instagram account, but I'm not going to give you that because that's really more college driven, if you know what I mean. So, um, or young adult, you know, content on that uh, page. So, but I want you guys to follow her. I will leave everybody's name right up here in the corner. Um, okay, so let's get started. I'm going to first reveal something that I got. Now, you guys already know that about a month ago or about two months ago, no, about a month ago, we'll say about a month ago, I had um, got back my Never Full from uh, the Louis Vuitton store at Macy's Herald Square. And it was kind of like, it was real wacky, you know, in a sense of, you know, they changed out the interior. I don't have the same lining. You know, it's kind of weird. You know, it still didn't sit well with me, but I have to um, bite that bullet, you know what I'm saying? And just move on with my life because I don't want to haggle with anybody about anything right now. We're in still a pandemic People done lost their jobs. People are losing their jobs. They're losing their homes. They're, they're getting evicted. So for me to be haggling about a pocketbook, you're not going to get it from me like that, okay? So, but I had questions about, you know, my pocketbook. So, you know, I have to ask because I'm the consumer and they, they didn't do it for free. I had to pay for it. So that's why I kept like, not kept, but that's why I was kind of like, I need you to answer this. I need you to answer that for me and so forth and so on. But anyway, so in the process, as soon as I got back the bag, I said, how can I maximize this bag where um, my handles don't get dirty? Because, you know, our hands have a lot of oil on it. We use it for our hair, lotion, things like that. And then we start to touch the vaquetta of the handle of the bags and then it starts to get brown and dirty and dingy and all of that. 
So I said, how can I maximize this where I can have my handles last just a little longer? So what I decided to do is I've always spoke about M Craft leathers. They on they are on Etsy and they're also on uh, eBay. I don't know if they're on Trazy, but I know I've purchased things from Etsy from them. I've purchased many things from them, um, uh, customized things as well from them. Um, so I wanted to go back to them just to see what they have out there. They have some amazing things out there. I'm going to put them, their information also up there in the, uh, up there in that corner there. Um, and they also have, a uh, uh, Instagram account. So, I, I just wanted to see what they had out there, and they had some decent stuff out there. So I purchased an, an um, a uh, we'll say a uh, handle pad. Let me just show you instead of me trying to explain it to you. I have yet to use my Neverfull. I, I don't know. It's just honestly since the pandemic, um, I don't know. I'm just not feeling. Um, Louis Vuitton. I'm just not feeling that. Let me wear my bag today. Let me wear my bag today. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Let me put my scrubs on, my sneakers on, and my long jump bag and go to work because I don't want to bring nothing back in my bag or on my back. I don't know. It's just, I'm weird like that. So it's like, I haven't been using any of my Louis Vuitton bags. I haven't. The last time I used my Louis Vuitton bag, gotta be in February. Any one of them. Even the wallet. I'm not even using all of that again. I don't know. It's just like the pandemic really like made my whole mood with Louis Vuitton. And it's not Louis Vuitton. It's just my mood just like, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it like that since the pandemic. But anyway... I haven't used it, so hopefully I'll use it, but I, I don't know. I seriously probably doubt I'll use my Neverfull. So anyway, I got these amazing handle protectors. See, from M Craft Leathers. I'm going to take one off and show you guys. And I think these were like $45 for the pair. And let me show you guys. So it's like this. It's Vaquetta. And it has the same stitching as Louis Vuitton. This is what I'm saying with like M Craft Letters. They're just amazing as far as craftsmanship. I don't know if that person used to work for Louis Vuitton. I don't know. But they are like on point with this stuff. So then it has like Velcro. It has um, Velcro. Where is the Velcro? You have the Velcro right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's Velcro coming across here. And then inside has the other part of the Velcro. So what you do is you just turn it in. And you just turn it in like this. And it Velcros together. You see, so it's like this. So I have, I got a pair. I got these two. And if I'm not mistaken, they might have been $45. So I got these here on this particular bag for and, they, and and if I'm not mistaken they make them for the never full they don't make them for speedy they tell you that off the back we don't make it for the round handles so anything like kind of like rectangular they'll make them for and and I'm pretty sure you can get them customized as well so I got this here and this is the um shoulder pads or shoulder um protected shoulder uh well i'm not gonna say protected shoulder i'm gonna say it's the uh, um uh, strap strap protector from m craft leather so these is what i got here okay and let me show you guys like this and it's bendable and everything so after a while it'll get you know it will relax the leather and I had these, I got these like last month and I totally forgot to show you guys these here. So these are these here, okay? So let's get into my hat collection 
So, there's a lot of hats that I cannot find. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I know I put them somewhere. I don't know where I put them at. But anyway, the first hat I want to show you guys is my Tory Burch pink hat that I um I had this a, a few years. I mean, like, I must have had this like about five years, five, six years. I just never wore it. You see, it has uh, tags still on it because I couldn't find a scarf. A scarf this color you know this exact color which I found one so I will be wearing this this year okay so that's that one there and this one here is my Gucci hat that I got early this year um, yeah I got this early this year I was I'm hunting for the scarf I should have bought the scarf when I bought the hat and I didn't um, yeah, so I got this hat, and this size is a medium. Yeah, so this is my Gucci hat, and this is, like, more slouchy, you know. And this is from the men's line, actually. But I got a small size. I got, like, a medium size. So these are, this is this here. And this reminds me from back in the 80s, because back in the 80s, this is what Gucci's emblem used to be back in the 80s. So this is why I love it so much, because remember... I'm from the 80s, so I know all of this, you know, uh, embroidery or the logo is something that I'm really familiar with, okay? So, and they used to have these on their, this used to be on their sneakers and everything. I mean, like, they used to, and their sweat, their sweat, um, sweat jackets, things like that, like a lot of athletic wear always had this emblem on there. So, and if you guys know... From the 80s, like me, this is something that, this is what was really, this is what grabbed me or drew me into getting this hat. So, this is this one here. And that's my Gucci hat. Uh, the next hat, the next, I'm going to show you the two of them at the same time because it's actually the same hat, just different colors. So, I'm, okay, so... One of another one of my ready to wear designers is Lacoste. I love Lacoste. I have a whole lot of Lacoste stuff. Um, I don't know if I should do a video on it. I haven't even wore them yet, but I had them for so many years. I had them in a bin, um, and I was buying them left and right because I, I again this Gucci emblem Lacoste. This is a Lacoste hat, you know. Um, and I got it in uh, winter white. And then this is more of a pink color, but not as pink as the other one. Um, so I grew up in the 80s with Lacoste, right? The Gucci emblem and um, Latiga. Latiga was the, the emblem with the tiger on it. So I grew up with all of that in the 80s. So Again, Lacoste has been around for decades and decades and decades. So, I'm you know I love Lacoste um, clothes. Um, they're very pricey, you know. So you always have to get it when they're on sale. So again, I have a lot because I've always was searching for those um, those sales, you know. Um, so this is Lacoste here. The next one I have is my Brown Montclair hat that I got last year, I think November. Um, and I think I got this with the Saks Fifth Avenue or the Neiman Marcus sale. I got this here. And this is that Montclair hat. And I always wanted a brown hat. So I was happy when this was this came up. Okay, so that's that there. Yeah. Pricing, I'm not going to really tell you on because some of these hats are hats that I had for a couple of years as well. So... I, wouldn't even, I couldn't even tell you what it is. Now, uh, and here is my hunter hat. I always like pom-pom hats. So this is my hunter hat. I have these this hat in about five colors. And I have the scarves and the hats and everything. I think I showed you that in like a video like last year. So these are things that, you know, I had for a while. So this is the hunter hat. And they call it the mustache hat. Okay, so that's that there. And I have a Burberry hat that I got last year. 
And again, I wasn't able to wear anything because the weather wasn't cold enough to wear these type of hats, you know. So I got this here. And I got this, if I'm not mistaken, from... Uh, Might have been from Neiman Marcus, if I'm not mistaken. So I got this here. This is my Burberry hat. The next one is my favorite. It is my Louis Vuitton hat that my girl Lisa was able to get me the hat and scarf. So I'm showing you just the hat. Okay. And I got this last year. And I think I wore this one time. Again, because it wasn't cold like that. I think we had one cold day or two cold days. So this is this here. And I got one of my sparkly favorite hats. And this is the Gucci hat. And it's G-U-C-C-Y. Okay, so this is my Gucci hat. And I think I bought this off of an e, uh, a eBayer. I always love this hat because I it's just so sparkly. Sparkly, you know? Like real diva shit. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this was in here. Okay, so that's my Gucci hat. This hat is a hat that has been with me for God knows how long. I had this hat since the early 90s. So this hat is my um, John Paul Gaultier hat. And I love this hat. I will never... Let me tell you something. Back then, I used to wear the hat and it was like, oh my God, this hat is so unique. So unique. Where did you get this hat from? And I went back to get another one, and it was all gone. And I didn't spend a lot for this hat. I might have spent $100 for this hat. But this is my John Paul, my Jean Paul Gaultier hat. Okay? And uh, early 90s, when I used to work at the World Trade Center, because I used to work at the World Trade Center, I was in the first bombing, not the second one. The first bombing, I was there. Um, and Century 21, which is going out of business, they filed for chapter, chapter, I think they filed for bankruptcy, filed for, filed for bankruptcy, so they're going to be closing all their stores. So you always was able to get some good stuff. So this was one of those good things that I got out of Century 21. And this is, again, Jean Paul Gaultier uh, hat that I got. Here's one of my Fendi hats, and this is uh, a hat that I got a couple of years ago, very long time. This hat must be 10 years old, and I got this hat, okay, and this is my Fendi hat, and my polo green hat, the reason why I still keep it, and now this hat came from Sims. There used to be a store, two stores, well, one store in Manhattan and one in Long Island named Sims, and they used to carry a whole lot of Ralph Lauren stuff. So I got that from them here. So you can see the emblem here, Ralph Lauren. I like this green, so that's why I'll never get rid of it. Certain colors I'm going to keep because they're kind of difficult to find, you know. So I love this here, and I got this for $10. I know I did because this tag is still on it. Haven't worn it yet, again, because, I don't know, I'm just kind of like, a lot of stuff is very deep in a bin, so, you know, but this is here, and, and it's not as wooly-wooly, which is great, because when it's a lot of wool, I'm not going to wear it, so, this is this here, and you know what, what I cannot find, and I'm going to try to find it, um, I bought a Louis Vuitton Damier Petite. Um, beanie from the men's line. I can't find it anywhere. I must have threw it somewhere in some bin because I just cannot find it. I wanted it to be a part of this collection, but unfortunately it will not be, you know, so. And you guys already saw these. These are my Finney hats that I got, you know, recently from uh, where did this come from? I think uh, Neiman Marcus? No, came from Saks. These came from Saks. And this is the black with the yellow writing. And it comes with a dust bag. These are already sold out. Once I, once I showed you guys this, 
in a couple of videos ago. When I went back, it was sold out. And here's the blue one. Here, here's the blue one. Okay. And I, you know, I'm not I'm gonna hopefully I'll wear it this winter. Hopefully we get some good snow because I'm a winter baby, so I love snow. I love the crisp air. I can breathe better when it's like that, you know. So yeah, so I think that is it for right now. That is it for right now. Um yeah. I don't have anything else here. So just wanted to show you um, some of my uh, winter hat collections. If I find the other half of it, I'll let you guys know. All right, so till next time, stay blessed, be safe. Please wear your mask. Please, I'm begging you guys to just continue to wear your mask, okay? Um, and uh, have a great week coming up, a work week coming up for those that do, that those that are working. Hopefully, um, the, stimul the stimulus money will be available. Hopefully, they will um, vote on that and, you know, people that really need it get it because it's, I mean, it's real terrible out there and, you know, we want to, you know, make sure that everybody's able to pay their bills, you know, and have food for their family, you know, even though it's not much, something is better than nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So until next time, stay blessed, be safe. 